Welcome to day 21 of the Power of Five, a daily devotional with communion. Today's topic is emotions. I don't know if you realize it, but God made us emotional beings. He's the one that gave us emotions. We can use emotions for good and we can use emotions for bad. We need to realize our emotions are part of loving God, caring about God, loving people, and caring about people. God said that the very first commandment, Jesus is, he was asked, what's the greatest commandment? Jesus answered and said, to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Well, love is an emotion. I don't know if you realize this, but the very first commandment is an emotional commandment. And we need to allow our emotions to enjoy God and his creation. Now, we have other emotions that he's asking us to to get under control. The emotion of anger, the emotion of, of jealousy, those emotions need to be controlled by walking in the spirit. But you are supposed to be full of joy, full of peace, full of love. Those are positive emotions. Our scripture from Psalms 103 says this, praise the Lord, O my soul, and all my inmost beings, praise his holy name. Psalms 91 verse two. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him, in whom I trust. We are supposed to be so emotionally connected to the Lord that we believe his love for us and that we share that love back. I encourage you to use the emotion of love for appreciation for God, his kingdom, and his gifts to you. The book of James says, every good and perfect thing comes from the Father of lights. He is the one that has provided you with good things. He's the one that has provided breath in your lungs, your life, your heaven, uh, heavenly reward and your heavenly place when we leave this planet. Let us be people who regularly enjoy God through with our emotions and celebrate him. Our confession prayers are these. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Isn't that awesome? The Lord's joy gives me emotional strength. Joy, love, and peace are from the Holy Spirit, and he is bringing them into my life today. I will bless the Lord with all that is within me. I will say that the Lord, he is good, and his mercy endures forever. I believe God gives me great emotional experiences to enjoy life and to enjoy the relationship, my relationship with him. We need to be blessing him. That's an emotion. I don't know if you realize worship is an emotional experience. And may you get lost in worship on a regular basis. So let us take communion and enjoy it emotionally. I take this bread today in remembrance that you, Holy Father, have given me emotions in order to enjoy you and to enjoy the life you give me. I choose to enjoy life today. Let's take the bread. I take this cup today as a reminder of the greatest joy I have, my relationship with the Lord. Thank you for dying for me and giving me joy. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for each person watching that they are full of joy. They are full of love. They are full of worship. That they will take their emotions that are of joy and love and peace and long-suffering. That these emotions, that they would give them to you and enjoy your presence and your goodness. I pray that each person, Father, will enter into an emotional time of worship that is full of joy and fulfillment in your presence, that they would have control over their negative emotions, those of anger and wrath and doubt, that they would take control over those emotions, but your emotions of joy and love would bubble over in their life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen. Have a joyful day.